Makes and I upload craft tutorials every Wednesday and Saturday so please do subscribe if you're not already and if you are already then great. Okay, um, I'm still broken. Um, I saw the doctor the other day and yeah, this is going to stay on for another three and a half weeks at least. So, counting down the days, counting down the days. Um, but hey, I can get out and about and don't need crutches now so there are, you know, benefits uh, and uh, progress. So, uh, anyway. Back to what we're doing. Um, the summer is over and I've realised I've not done a lot on my summer collection and ages ago I did an ice cream plushie and on the template there was a, a lollipop plushie with it uh, and I've finally made that lollipop plushie but I have made a lollipop garland. Right, so let's crack on and see what we need to make it. Right, here are the things you're going to need to make your lollipop garland. Um, I have skipped a step, um, I've already cut out all of my pieces um, so yeah, you'll probably notice that. It was just easier to explain it um, at this step than before. You just had so much material and it just looked overly complicated and it really isn't. So things you'll need, you'll need some ribbon, threads in corresponding colours to your felts here. Um, obviously you'll need a, a needle, scissors um, and then uh, all of these felts. So the colours are basically beige for all your lolly sticks. Then you've got blue and dark blue, purple and dark lilac, yellow and dark yellow, pink and a slightly paler pink, and red and this pink here. So it, it looked overly complicated when there was this big stash of fabric, but really it isn't. You could just have all pink cheeks here if you wanted, or you could just skip the pink, the, the um, cheek stage. It's completely up to you. So once you've sewn one lolly, it's easy to sew them all. Um, and there is a tutorial showing you how to sew all these faces, which I've linked up above. Okay, right, so how to assemble um, a simple lolly. So we'll just pick on this chap. So the first thing you do is sew his cheeks on, just using a fell stitch all the way around. You probably only need four stitches to do that. And then you're going to sew this onto here using your red thread. Just sew it on using a fell stitch. And then matching up your back, do exactly the same with the back. Then when you've done that, that's done with fell stitch, just to remind you again, you're going to go blanket stitch around the lolly stick using your beige thread and then stop. And then you're going to do blanket stitch with red thread all the way around until you get back to here and that will be in your red thread. Before you close it up, you will of course need stuffing, which as always, I neglected to put on the table. I always forget it, but you will need stuffing. But once you get to that point, that will be your first lolly done. And then you just do the same thing on the next one, but you use pink thread instead of red, yellow, lilac, blue. And there you go. And then I'll show you the next part, how to attach it onto the ribbon. Right, let's crack on. Right, so I have sewn up um, all of these ones. I've just got one more lolly to do. Um, attaching it to my large ribbon, I thought I'd add um, a little loop on the top. Um, just to kind of make it easier and make the finished product look lovely. Uh, so this is just a simple ribbon that I've kind of cut out. You know those annoying um, ribbons you have in your um, tops that hold them on the hanger? It's just uh, one of those really and then I just cut it down. And you just simply fold it over and you're going to attach it to the back of your um, lolly just with a few straight stitches. So the knots on the inside and just go around maybe three or four times just to hold that loop in place. So here we are. I um, joined this part to this part using a fell stitch across there and did the same with the back piece. And I've matched them up and done my blanket stitch around and now they're kind of in a shape a bit like this. So now I've got my little bit of wadding. You really don't need very much at all. I'm going to squidge it in the middle there, fold it down, give it a squidge, and then I'm going to do my blanket stitch all the way around there. So here are all my finished um, ice lollies, and uh, now I'm going to thread them on my ribbon. I've decided on my order, this is my order, and um, you can play around with yours and decide where to go. And you could do them all the same colour if you want, you don't have to have all different faces, their possibilities are endless, it's completely up to you. Uh, so now I'm just going to uh, thread them onto my ribbon one at a time. And this 
one's got a smaller loop. That's a bit trickier. Now, now I'm going to have to thread that one the other way because we want it to all sit forward. There we go. So that's it. Make sure they're all sitting forward and you've kind of threaded it on the right way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull it through so you've got the length you desire this end and the length you desire this end, then you can trim this end off. Um, and then you're going to space them out evenly. And the best way to do this is to kind of have um, some sort of object to kind of measure that. So you could have a piece of card or a mug or anything really, um, just to measure out the space between them so you get it nice and even. And then what you're going to do, just with a tiny bit of white thread, you're simply going to do a little stitch just to hold it in place where you want it. It doesn't have to be a big extravagant stitch, it's just a couple of little stitches, maybe two or three, just to hold it on that ribbon, because otherwise they're all going to end up like this. Okie dokie, right, so I'll get on with that now. Um, oh, the other thing you'll have to do is with your ends, again using your white thread, is if you loop it over, so it makes a little loop like that, and again, just secure, just secure it with um, a tiny stitch and then you've got a little hanging loop um, at either end. Here is my finished lollipop garland. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video um, I have also done an ice cream um, plushy uh, video um, or tutorial and you could easily develop this um, uh, to do an ice cream one as well so I've linked that in a card above. Um, if, if there's anything else summary that you think I could make or that I'm missing then do let me know. I love getting requests so yeah just drop me a line either below or I'm on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. Um, yeah please do have a chat with me tell me what you've been making anyway uh, that's enough for now i will see you soon so take care